Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you with another video. It's a great day up here in Michigan. It's nice and warm. Ooh, spring is just around the corner. I'm getting excited. Ooh, that's one thing. That's the best thing I like about winter when it's over. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, it just makes you appreciate the warm weather. You know, people that live in all warm climates, they have the tendency to they'll probably take the warm weather for granted. But that's the one good thing about living in Michigan is that it just makes you appreciate the warm and beautiful days all that much more after you didn't had a frigid cold winter. Actually, this winter wasn't that bad, actually. I've, I've seen much worse in my Michigan years. <laughs> anyway. I just had a, I had a marination today, and when I have a marination, I either have to put it on Facebook or YouTube. Facebook, they are get ignored on Facebook a lot, so I'm going to put this marination on YouTube. But sometimes I get ignored on YouTube, too, but I actually get more hits on YouTube than I do on Facebook. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking, I was thinking about something earlier. Oh, I was thinking about the doxing and everything that goes on on YouTube earlier. And I was thinking that we got to be careful what we do in this life. Because you reap what you sow. And God don't like ugly. And that's what I said earlier. I said, God don't like ugly. And, and he ain't too crazy about pretty either. <laughs> that part of it, I got an interesting little story behind that part of that that part of it, of, of the saying. Um, I was living out to this apartment complex years ago when I was in my twenties. I was living out in this apartment complex, um, and I actually stayed in I, I stayed in a, a two bedroom apartment. Then I moved over to a, a townhouse in that same complex. But this is when I was in the two bedroom apartment, and um, the the uh, the complex uh, thought it was a good idea to throw someone's stuff off their the third floor apartment balcony onto the ground in efforts of trying to put or they weren't trying to evict this person. And it was a young lady. Well, I can't even, you know, I can't even remember who she was. I can't think of her name or anything. But she lived on the third floor. And the, uh, the complex threw her stuff out of the balcony onto the ground, which, who does that? That's just mean. Um, so I was out there picking up her, helping her pick up her stuff, you know. You know, just trying to help her out, just to help her pick up her stuff. I said, "I said, this is this this is just mean." I'm like, "It's mean," and I said, "You know what? You know, we was I was talking to her about it and everything, and I was telling her that's mean. How could they do this?" And and I, in the midst of me saying that, I said, "You, you know what? God don't like ugly." And my neighbor came out, which I it was the first time me meeting her because she had just moved on the second floor. My neighbor came out and she said. And he ain't too crazy about pretty either. <laughs> so that's what, so that's where I I I I got that complete saying from. You know, the last part of it was, and I said, God don't like ugly. Then she came out and said, and he ain't too crazy about pretty either. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. You know how sometimes think people can say things and they just resonate with you forever. And that's just one of those sayings that just resonated with me so much just never forgot it so exactly so that's exactly what i was thinking earlier is god don't like ugly and he ain't too crazy about pretty either you know what i mean so these people that be coming on youtube you know bad mouthing people trashing people doxing people and all this kind of stuff and just people just doing evil things not just people on youtube but people just in general just doing black hearted stuff just doing mean and evil stuff you know we gotta be careful what we do in this system you know this is this is not there all there is 
people think this is all there is. This is not all there is. When you die, you okay, there's going there's you have an eternal life, okay? So what you do in this life determines your de eternal life. What's going to happen in your eternal life. So we have to be careful what we do. Um we have to be careful what we do in this in this lifetime. We got to be careful how we treat people. We got to be careful what we even in our words because even the Bible talks about the power of the tongue and how powerful our words are. They, 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 that saying they say sticks and stones should not break my bones but names and that is not true. That is not true. Words do hurt. They hurt. And they, they can cut like a knife and, and pierce the soul. So we really have to be careful. I, I've had people say things to me that they said it to me years ago. And it it still resonated with me. Um, you know, it, it, words can, it, it, it can pierce the soul. It really can. So we have to be really careful about what we say in the people, what we what we say, what we speak on people, you know, we got to be careful. Like some people just be speaking bad on people. How you going to speak bad on somebody? You know, and this and just this people just being black hearted and just saying evil things. Like I be in blogs and people just be saying just black hearted stuff. And you just kind of makes you think, oh, you know, what's going on with them where they got to say such black hearted stuff, you know, wishing bad on people and and just doing black-hearted stuff, and um, if you in, if you are unhappy with yourself, then you need to seek God. You need to fix that. If if, if something is going on inside of you, and you are unhappy with yourself, you need to fix that. Because if you don't fix it, it's going to destroy you. Hatred is going to destroy you. You think it's going to destroy the other person. Mm -mm, it's going to destroy you. That's who it's going to destroy. When you have hatred and malice towards other people, it's going to destroy you. It's going to eat at you. And it's going to affect your soul. Okay? You think it's going to it's affecting the other person? Mm-mm. Because you don't know, you don't know how, how much of an impact God has on that person's life. So whatever you're saying or, or trying to do to that person may not even affect them. You know, every every weapon formed, it's not it's not going to prosper. So it depends on what calling God has on that person's life. Whatever you're trying to do to them, it ain't going to work. I've had people try to do stuff to me and, and the stuff didn't work. It didn't work because guess what? Every weapon formed against me shall not prosper. So whatever you do it, it's going to have more of an effect on you than it is on them. That's going to vex your spirit. That's going to affect your eternal existence. It's, it's going to eat at you and destroy you. See, it takes more energy to hate than it does to love. It takes... Too much energy to hate. So, God don't like ugly. He don't like ugly. And he ain't crazy about pretty. Because whatever you, you dishing out, it's going to come back around full circle. And and it's going to affect wind up affecting you. It's, it's like a boomerang. It's like a boomerang effect. It's like, when you throw a boomerang, well, I've never, I've never had a, I don't even know. Well, they say it's a such thing as a boomerang. You throw it out, it comes. It's supposed to come back. I've never had one, but you throw it out there. You throw the boomerang out, and it comes back. Okay, so whatever you oh, it's mosquitoes out here already. Whatever you throwing out there, guess what? It's gonna come back to you, full circle. So it, it, you're not hurting nobody but yourself. That's the only person that you hurting is yourself. So that's what that saying really means. God don't like ugly. And you reap what you sow. The world calls it karma. It's the same principle. 
it all comes back around full circle. So whatever, whatever energy that you're putting out there, it's going to come back to you. So that's why we got to be careful what we do. We got to be careful what we say. And that's why God said, tells us, if somebody do something to us, let them just be mine. Let them just be mine. Don't you go out and, 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 and try to get, seek justice. No, just chill. He said, just pray about it and chill. I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He doesn't want us to, to seek revenge and all that because he said, let them just be mine. Okay? So, because whatever that person is doing, it's going to come back around to them. Your job is just to pray and forgive them and move on. Because whatever whatever they they doing, it's going to come back around. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's the marination I had earlier, so I had to come on and talk about it. <laughs> God don't like ugly, and he ain't too crazy about pretty either. That's something to think about. And that goes for everybody. That goes for me, everybody on the entire planet. Be careful what you do now. Be careful what you do. Because it's gonna come on, it's gonna come back around to you. Anyway, this is a dual topic. I wanted to talk about my some changes I'm I'm thinking about making. I'm thinking about changing my channel name. Um because there's some other sweet Junes on here. And when I tell people about my channel, when they search it, they have a hard time finding my channel. And then these other sweet Junes pop up. So I'm thinking about it. It might be affecting my algorithm. I don't know. But I'm thinking about changing my channel name to um, SJ Talks and Lifestyle. Let me know in the comment section. Hit me up in the comment section how you like that name. SJ is still going to be Sweet June, but it'll be abbreviated. But um, it'll it'll give my channel more of a unique name. And um, it'll take my name out of the title. And um, it'll, it'll, it'll stand out. I think that it'll stand out more. I've been thinking about it for quite some time now. And um, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. You know, so when you see that, when you see that, that's still... And I may put in the in the in the description box formerly known as Sweet June. <laughs> you know, like Prince formerly known as Prince when he changed his name to that symbol. <laughs> he said formerly known as Prince. I'll put on the thing formerly known as Streets or Sweet June. <laughs> but I, I like that. I, I I like that. I've been been kind of um, brainstorming some some possible names. You know. And I like that sweet SJ talks and lifestyle. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be making some other changes uh, to my channel and, you know, slowly but surely learning more editing techniques and things like that. So I'll be making some other changes to my channel. Um, you'll see it, you know, you'll see it. Um, I already made changes. I'm going to be making more changes. Um, and, um, also, I, I'm, I'm going to be having uh, an, a spiritual announcement coming up. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to make this announcement, but just giving you a heads up. Um, very important um, spiritual decision that I made that I think is the best thing for me. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to make that announcement. Um, still praying about when is the proper time to do it. But... When I come on here and you see the title, then you're going to know that, okay, that's what she was talking about. Okay, so I can't tell you when I, I'm going to do it, but know that it's coming up. So those are the changes I'm thinking about making. And I just, whoever, uh, you, you, you subscribers out there that um, watch every video that I post, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your dedication to my channel. And any new subscribers, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't want to, want to dare let you guys think that I don't appreciate you because I do. And so this is pretty much all I was. I got to get out of here. I got to go back in the house. These mosquitoes, there's mosquitoes out here. They're tearing me up. 
they getting started early this year. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to let you know about that marination. Give you some food for thought and give you something to think about. Think about what I said now. And until the next video, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And until the next video, peace and love. Be blessed.